The cycling season has once again commenced and in its ninth year, LBC Ronda Pilipinas continues to improve as it gets bigger than being the country's biggest cycling spectacle. As we open the 2019 season of the UCI Asia Tour, seven Philippine squads will hope to test its mettle against eight visiting continental teams led by powerhouse Terengganu of Malaysia. With the level of competitions up to a few notches, the 2019 LBC Ronda Pilipinas is out to answer one question. Are Filipino cyclists ready for the world? It's the beginning of another cycling season. And what brings pride to us Filipinos is the fact that the country will open up the hostilities of the 2019 UCI Asia Tour. Mabuhay Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, Mega Manila and World. I am Snow Badwa. Good day to all the cycling fans. Good day mga karonda. Today's race will cover a distance of 196.6 kilometers, ilo ilo to ilo ilo round. Headwind and unforgiving road conditions will challenge our riders today. I am DJ Bobby Udulio. And what are you waiting for? Sit back, relax. Here is stage number one, LBC Ronda Pilipinas 2019. For the first time since 2014, LBC Ronda Pilipinas again opened its doors to foreign teams. What predominantly was an exclusive race for locals will suddenly give the Filipino cyclists and their fans a new barometer on how far we've gone. It was not hard for Filipinos to appreciate the presence of these foreign squads, carrying with them new technologies, techniques, and science. When the race finally rolled off, the big difference was immediately felt. As soon as the checkered flag was waved at the zero kilometer mark, speed of the race shot up. A view from the top shows a contrasting image of the well exposed and the tyros in this kind of UCI sanctioned race. It was Filipino cyclist and former Tour de Langkawi campaigner Merculio Ramos who registered the first ever breakaway of the 2019 LBC Ronda Pilipinas. By taking the lead in the first few meters of this 197.6 km UCI Asia Tour season opener, Ramos tried to pave the way for his fellow Tarlaqueño cyclist to show off. Another Filipino, Alvin Mandi, plucked himself out of the now test peloton to immediately join Ramos in the first group. But the romance of the two in front was short lived. Five minutes after, the 88-man peloton absorbed the leaders, a scene which eventually turned into a pandemonium. Local teams like Go for Gold and Philippine Navy connive in front to escape the main pack. Every team's domestic are scampering to get a good spot in front. And this opened up opportunities for their riders Jonel Carcueva and Ronald Lomotos, together with Tour de France veteran Francisco Mancebo Perez and Kango and Ju to establish the second breakaway. Unsighted in the peloton, now the chase group worsened. And this is when Tour de Langkawi reigning champion Artem Ovechkin experienced the most grueling stage of his Ronda Filipinas career. Ovechkin was truly a marked man with strugglers ganging up on him. How can a decorated driver like Ovechkin extricate himself from the defense of his rivals? We will find out when your LBC Ronda Filipinas full recap returns. Sa 
LBC, lahat ng padala mahalaga. Dahil alam namin na ang bawat padala may lamang ligaya. Kaya sa LBC, panatag ka. Darating ang pag-ibig mo. Sarap ng kaning Pinoy. For franchising, please call 0932-256-1161 or 0235281300. You can also email us at franchising.boycanin at gmail.com or visit our website at www.boycanin.com. LBC Ronda Pilipinas is brought to you by LBC. We like to move it. Powered by MVP Sports Foundation. Supported by Versa 2A Radio. Bike Extreme, Boy Cunning, Green Planet, ProLine, Celeste Cycles, Standard Insurance, CCN, One Movement Partners, Joel Pilongaris Foundation, Maynilad, 3Q Sports Events Management Corporation, Mega World, Festive Walk, Seda Adria, Pueblo de Panay, LBC Foundation, in partnership with the Department of Tourism, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, the City of Iloilo, Province of Iloilo, the Province of Gibaras, Roja City, Province of Capiz, Province of Antique, and the Paradise Island of Boracay in Malay Aklan. As a result of every team ganging up on Novechkin, the pace of the main group slowed down, and this is when Ronald Uranza, George O'Connor, and foreign rivals Jamalidin Novardianto, Maral Erden Batmuk, Taewon Kang and Mukamad Chaichi Ragimi formed the new lead pack. The peloton suddenly became wilder as teammates of those in front are trying to gatekeep the front while those who has no representation are trying to escape. But the uphill climb in Hamtik and Sibalong broke the 10-man breakaway sending Mancebo Perez and Batmu to form the two-man first group. The two shared the lead until... It looks like uh, Erden Bakmut is suffering from uh, cramps and uh, Mancebo already sensing, uh, already uh, smelling blood. Pulling away, Mancebo is pulling away. Look at uh, Bakmut. He can't move his uh, right leg. So Mancebo took the opportunity to take the solo leadership. And this is when Mancebo Perez sensed danger. Aware that Matmunk's drift down will alert their chasers of his distance, Mancebo stepped on the gas to further pose a commanding space between himself and the much stronger 10-man chase. Rustam Lim tried to catch up on Mancebo, but he suddenly lost steam as Ronald Oranza stepped in to steal the solo chase. Though there are moments where he would massage his leg muscle and complain of too much heat, the 2000 Tour de France best young rider had a sweet sail to earn the victory. 200 meters to the finish line. His speed is about 38 kilometers per hour. And there we go. We can already see the finish line. Francisco Mancebo looking behind him. No one's still there. They're 2 minutes and 45 seconds behind Francisco Mancebo, a world-class rider, raising his hat in victory, and he will dominate, truly dominate, stage one of your LBC Ronda Filipinas. 
The win automatically gave Bansebo Perez the yellow jersey and insisted that though he is currently enjoying a 3 minutes and 58 second lead over Ronald Uranza, the five-stage Ronda Pilipinas 2019 is still far from over. Oh, this race is so, so crazy. Me, I, start in the, I, I was in the first breakaway, uh, kilometer 10. I, I was 190 kilometer in breakaway, so I'm dead. Meanwhile, reigning Ronda Filipinas champion Ronald Oranza emerged as the best Filipino rider, while Go for Gold Discovery Ismael Grospe is the best young rider after stage one. Monsebo Perez's Matrix Power Tag Japan tops the team classification. For stage two Saturday, the remaining 78 riders will be tested in the winding and windy 101 kilometer Gimaras to Gimaras stage two. LBC Ronda Pilipinas is the Philippines' biggest cycling race and it's the only major professional cycling league in the country that brings fans close to the race through the live stream coverage and full recap features. LBC Ronda Pilipinas is brought to you by LBC, we like to move it. Powered by MVP Sports Foundation. Supported by Versa 2 Way Radio. Bike Extreme, Boy Cunning, Green Planet, ProLine, Celeste Cycles, Standard Insurance, CCN, One Movement Partners, Joel Pilongaris Foundation, Mainilad, 3Q Sports Events Management Corporation, Mega World, Festive Walk, Seda Adria, Pueblo de Panay, LBC Foundation, in partnership with the Department of Tourism, Department of Environment and Natural Resources, the city of Iloilo, province of Iloilo, the province of Gibaras, Roja City, province of Capiz, province of Antique, and the paradise island of Boracay in Malay Aklan. <laughs>